one, I'm gonna share with you how to make another gift idea. I have the interface and I cut 12 by 12. And I'm going to place the sticky side of the uh, interface in this wrong side of the fabric. So iron on this. After that, you're going to cut an extra half an inch all around. So everyone, I cut another piece of the green here and I place the right side to the right side and the interface in that line right there. So you go ahead and sew. Leave this here about four inches open. So you follow the interface in, and you're going to sew from here all the way, all the way here all the way to here and stop leave this area open so you can inside out one after you sew around and i left it here the space so go ahead and cut the corners on this space right here that you leave it open Pull it out and iron it. Go ahead and top stitch four sides. So everyone, after I top stitch all around here, this thing right here, you can increase the size if you want to. I have 12 by 12. You can make whatever size you want. So I want this side to show more, so I'm going to face down. Whatever size you want to show, you face down, everyone. So now I'm going to fold on this. Triangle, corner, every line, and iron it. So you see one line, we're going to do the same thing to the yeah. other way. So we fold two triangles in two different directions. Alright, so now I'm open it. You can see that we have we go on to fold it this way and then after that you're gonna fold the other way <laughs> you know when you learn about origami it's super easy because everything is folded twice When I fold and I iron, I try not to go up on the thing there. I just only iron the new line. I don't let my um, iron to go up to those lines that we make. Go back to the first triangle. When you get to the first, you're going to move this in. This right here, move that inside. After that, you're going to move this one. You have this line in the middle, this line right here, you're going to move into here. So now when you fold, after you flap it in, it's going to look like this. So I have all that craziness down here, and then here with the big giant fold. We're not going to do anything on that. We're going to work on this area right here so I'm gonna take the first one you have two you have two on one side and then the other two on the other side okay so whatever side we do it the other side we're gonna do exact the same so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna hold my hand here so I can get the everything lie up nicely so I'm gonna move it like this Fold it in like this. And on this side, I'm going to do the same thing. That's why I'm holding down here because I want everything to be even. And I'm going to clip it down just for now. So when I iron, it won't drive me crazy. I'm going to clip these two together. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and iron on it. So now you have something like this. I'm gonna do this. Hold hold a pointy here so you can flap this fold right here to the center right here. 
like that. Make sure it go right into the center. Iron it. I'm gonna clip it. In the other side, I'm doing exactly the same. I'm holding to the pointy because if you don't hold it, it's gonna spread out. So hold it and then press this fold down to the center. And then you can let go. And I. So now this is nice and cool. So I'm going ahead and take off the clip. You gotta be careful when you iron and you touch it, it's really, really hot. So I'm gonna flip into the other side. When you flip in the other side, remember always face this in front of you. This fold up. Because if you fold in a different way, you are out of luck. So do exactly the same thing. Repeat the first step, everyone. you fold it down make sure it going to be even with that side like that see when I fold it down it's gonna meet the other side right there I make the same one with paper the paper it stay in much better too but I like the fabric because it lasts forever so this one at the two here you can make it as the basket Okay, well, I show you after um, I finished this here. This one you can turn into the basket, and then on the top here, when the choice together, you can ask the button there. I didn't do anything, that's why I'm using the clip just to show you. One style you can into a basket. If you want to give that out for the gift, put some candy in here for the holiday, or put whatever in there for the holiday. Very sturdy. And this time, it without the handle. When you fold this down, you're going to make sure this is even on the top here. Okay, let me show you. Fold it down. So now you see, it's even. And make sure this thing right here, it go down the line in the middle, go down like that. I'm gonna hold my hand inside. To make it safe, I'm gonna move the clip and clip it there so it can hold it down for me and I'll turn this around so I can show you so you see this the second line we're at the fold right here fold it there up and then fold it again like that okay and then after that you're going to hold the tip the pointy stuck this pointy inside of this two fold move your hand make sure it's relaxing no pulling down here and now you see this is what you have i'm gonna clip it down here so that one side is done everyone and now i'm gonna flip into this side you're going to do exact the same so you're gonna move this right here. This is the fold. You're gonna fold this down. Always have to put your hand where you need it to be. Turn this way so I can show you. Right here, that's where the fold. I'm gonna fold it down. So now you see it's even. The center. And then move this little flap out like that. And then turn this way. So I'm going to stuck half inside of the pocket here. Use your hand and move it in. I'm going to move the clip to here. And I'm going to clip it down here. There you go. So now you have something like this. So 
if you want the handle like that then you have to do this okay on this side right here you can see on each side we have the the fold right there you're gonna flap this fold inside you can iron it and then on top here there's another flap like this you flap it back at this time you're gonna make sure it's even don't worry about the top one there I'm gonna clip this down so you can see how now this side we have it like this we're gonna turn into this side you can see half of this and then half of that these two gonna flap it inside have the line right there for you all you do is just flap it back in follow the line it's already half the line there and then I'm gonna flap this inside to be even and the top there don't worry it's gonna be stuck in it so now you have something like this gently because it's nothing to support them so gently put your hand in your finger in here and I have my hand going this way at this time you have a time to adjust this so when I fold like that, this side, that pointy meet the middle line right there. I'm going to go ahead and clip it down so I can easily work on the other side. This side right here, you're going to do exactly the same. Now at this time, if you want a basket, then you can join this two together. The two on the top here join together and then sew the button right in the middle but I'm not using this for the basket so I'm doing this everyone I'm gonna do this I'm gonna hold this two together like this hold it together move this down Clip it down first, just like the other side. Okay, and now on this side, don't worry about, about the craziness. Cause you're gonna stuck it inside anyway. So move this up and move this down. So when you move this down, you're gonna hold on to that pointy, and then you're gonna stuck this inside. Now you hide your evidence. And then you go on to turn to this side, do same thing. Hold on to it. Take this out. You don't need that. Hold it. Fold it down. And now at this time, I'm gonna remember clip it so it can hold that for you. Flap it down. Hold on to this. Stuck it inside. I'm gonna clip it right there. Go ahead and gently push down the side. Put your hand in there and then you push it out. So everyone, you can slide the needle underneath the, the flap where the blue fabric right there. Hide the knot and then go up. Just slide it make sure it go down to the green go up to the green i mean and then go again you want to make sure it stay in down that is one side the other side you're going to do exact the same and then after that we're going to sew the button i always hide my evidence this side right here this right here you can see the middle line go from the back here where the green I'm gonna go up 
and I'm going to go from the inside to the inside here. I'm going to go to the inside. I'm going to go very, very close to that. And then I come back out. When I come back out, I'm going to wrap the button and then start sewing this button up. Right in the middle. And this that I don't need that. And I did already the other three sides. So sew the button. Everybody know how to do it, so that's why I don't want to to keep you here sleeping. Sometimes I want to do a quick video, but it the detail of the video I have to share. So let me know if my video is too long, everyone. And then go up again. Let's go ahead and sew this in three or four times as I did already for the other three sides. So cute. I love it. I love how it is. Stay safe and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share the video.